What's up, YouTube and my fellow gamers? Welcome to the first episode of Game Day! A reoccurring series that takes place every Tuesday where I play a variety of different games that I am passionate slash excited about. Today we're taking a look at the independently developed game called Running With Rifles, a top-down tactical shooter with open-world RPG elements. Essentially, this game is like sold at on crack. It's developed by Modulatio Games, and you can get it on uh, Steam's Early Access for $9.99. So if this kind of game interests you, definitely check it out. I've had a lot of fun playing this game. I've got probably about 70 hours in it so far. And this is the perfect game if you have, you know, 20 or 30 minutes, you know, you're waiting on your girlfriend to get ready to go out uh, for the evening. This is a perfect game to play for, for that. You know, a lot of times my girlfriend gets, is, uh, you know, doing her hair and shit. And, uh, you know, I'm playing this game, killing people before we leave. So uh, this is the perfect game. You can just join it, quit it, and end it when you're ready to go. I, and I really like that. Um, so we're going to take a look at this game. Um, starting out here, you can start with a new campaign or you can do multiplayer. Um, with a, with a uh, campaign, you can actually change a lot of different things. Uh, you can change the enemy accuracy, you know, the experience you get for kills, your rewards for uh, capturing enemy points um, and, uh, you know, make it less harder and stuff like that. But let's go ahead and start out here. And the cool thing about running with rifles is that you're, you start out as a, just a, a regular soldier, okay? You're not a commander or anything like that. You're just, you're just you. And um, you, you start out as basically a private. And as you gain up in ranks, you can then lead other soldiers and you can basically have them go to different waypoints and kind of flank enemies and stuff like that. So when you start out in the very beginning of the game, you just start out next to a stash. Now these stashes you can hold, um, they'll let you hold different weapons. So if you get certain weapons or items from corpses that you kill from the enemy, you can then stash those items in your stash and then you can eventually trade those item in uh, those items in at the armory to um, gain RP, which you can then spend to purchase other items or use uh, to call in airstrikes or, you know, purchase tanks or things like that. The higher your rank means that you can then call in a certain amount of uh, airstrikes and, and use RP for different things. Right now, because you're you start out as a private, you can't really do much. You don't have a radio, so you can't use any of those advanced functions. When you kill an enemy player, you gain what's called experience. And that, ex that experience is determined by what level the enemy is. So if the enemy is uh, a higher rank, then you'll gain more experience for killing them. So if you kill a lower ranking private or something like that from the enemy, you're not going to uh, gain as much experience. Also, if you knife a, uh, an enemy, you then gain the most experience. So it's encouraged even to try and kill enemies by knifing them or sneaking up on them if possible. Now, you can uh, do all kinds of different things in the game, but the most important thing is uh, using the cover system. The cover system is the lifeline of the game it's it's basically the the most important thing and um, you can actually survive a long time by using the cover system and uh, shooting from enemies behind it and, and using cover to your advantage and uh, you use the mouse the mouse to move the cursor around so that you can see further ahead of you and um, and so you have to always Main, uh, n you know, you have to always know which direction enemies are coming from. They can also sneak up on you if you're you're not careful. So it's important to kind of know your surroundings and stuff like that. And the first couple shots that you shoot out of your weapon are going to be the most accurate. So it's important not to just spray and pray. It's, uh, you know, the first couple shots and then let go of the, the gun. And uh, your reticle will, will then... Um, become smaller again it's just kind of it's the same way as in any other game um, pretty much except that it's a top-down isometric view 
and you can also climb obstacles and stuff like that. It's it's a lot of fun to uh, to climb different things and dive behind cover and and things like that. And as you gain in rank, you also gain squad members. So when you gain, I think you have to be the rank of sergeant, which is uh, it might be two thousand uh, experience points. When you get 2,000 experience points and you hit sergeant, you then uh, get a radio, which you can use to um, call in uh, different, you know, spend your RP on different things like airstrikes and stuff like that. But um, you also gain uh, one, uh, one member under your squad. And as you gain in higher ranks, you then gain more members for the squad. I think you can have up to 12 um, squad members, so... Uh, eventually, you know, when you get the highest rank, which can take quite a while, um, you'll have a really large squad, and you can actually uh, give them waypoints and send them to other places um, to kind of flank the enemy, which is pretty cool. And uh, you always know the objective that your um, that your uh, NPCs are going for is the the target reticle. That's where the objective is, and if you capture that objective, you gain RP as well. So it's really important to capture the objectives. If you die, you lose experience. But if you have RP, then you lose RP instead of experience. So it's really important to gather some RP and not spend it all because um, you will uh, you'll keep losing experience and not the, uh, the RP points. So, uh, that's also important. You can pick up items from the world, so if you run across, like, a, uh, a weapon from an enemy, you can pick that up and use it. You can, um, you know, stash those items in your stash for later if you want to do that. If you gather, uh, different items, for instance, uh, you know, if you have something in your backpack, your character will show that uh, that item so you can always tell when somebody has um, Something so if you're playing multiplayer you can always see uh, What enemy player might have some other items in their inventory? So uh, it might be useful to take them out so that you can uh, take whatever items that they have So at the armory you can Choose from a, all kinds of different a range of different weapons and stuff but you have to have a, a certain amount of RP to purchase those items so for instance, the MP5 SD, you have to have an, a minimum of uh, 1,500 experience to use that weapon. So uh, once you have that amount of experience, you can then spend R, uh, 4 RP on buying it and, um, and so forth. So what I like to do is purchase uh, body armor and uh, maybe a shield. Um, that'll let you survive a, quite a long time because body armor... Um, is it's really important because if you get shot the body armor protects you you then be, uh, become you start laying down on the ground and uh, you eventually get back up again and depending on how many uh, body armor has three uh, three uh, durability I guess you could say and uh, if you get hit twice usually that uses up all three durability um, but sometimes if you get hit once and it could, uh, by a grenade, um, it could take out all of the durability. So, uh, it really just depends on what you get hit with is how, how much the body armor actually works well for you. Now, you don't have to go after the objective that the other, uh, your other units are going for, especially after you gain in rank, uh, and you have your own platoon. You can then go after other objectives and catch, uh, capture them if you want. So you don't actually have to go after the one that the uh, you know that's that the NPCs are going for. You know, and as the longer you survive, you get these nice little messages at the right that say "nice combo," "way to go, soldier," things like that. That's really cool and reassuring. It just lets you know, hey, you're kicking ass, um, and you can just. Uh, Th those are always a lot of fun, especially when you've really killed a lot of people without dying. You get some really funny messages and, and stuff like that. Now, when you try to take out the last base that the enemy has or near the last base, it's going to be more populated because it has more units, obviously. Um, the enemy units will try to take out your bases, 
uh, and they will try to recapture them. So you have to, um, the NPC will automatically station some units there, but um, the enemy units will try to take it back. But you will see a lot more resistance in the last base, um, the last two bases of the, the enemy. And the, the current enemy that we're fighting is called the Gray Coats, but uh, there's also another enemy called the Brown Pants. And right now we're the Gray Col uh, the I think we're called the Green Collars. Um, so there's three different factions in the game. Sometimes you can come across maps where you're be you'll be fighting the Brown Pants and the, the Gray Coats. And uh, so that can be pretty interesting as well. And usually when that happens, you have to really look in all sorts of directions, you know, behind you, um, in front of you, and everything, because uh, enemies will come from all directions. And so this game, again, is uh, $9.99 on Steam Early Access. You can get it. I think probably there's going to be about six months more of uh, development time before it's going to be finished. Uh, but don't quote me on that. I'm not exactly sure. But it seems like they're pushing out updates pretty well, and the developer is really cool. I mean, they respond to a lot of the comments on the, the forums on Steam, and I really like that. You know, if, if the developer doesn't reply and doesn't care about the people that are um, essentially beta testing their game, you know, that that's kind of a red flag in my mind. And so Modulatio Games has been um, really cool. And uh, I'm really excited to, to see where they take this game in the future. I want to thank you all for tuning in for this week's episode. If there's any games that you want me to cover, if you want to see something, any independent developed games or any AAA games, whatever, I'll add it to my list. I won't guarantee that I will play those games. It just depends on what I'm passionate about and what I may enjoy. But uh, definitely let me know in the comments below if you want to see something. I will uh, add it to my list, possibly. And with that, I want to thank you all for tuning in, and uh, I'll see you again next time on Game Day.